How's it going everybody? Pizza Boy 2013 here and today I'll be bringing you guys another track editor tutorial video. This episode will be visible and invisible objects are actually really easy to use if you get the hang of it, which it's not too hard to get the hang of it. Now let's start off really simple here. As you see, I click on my object and turn the visibility off. Then what you want to do is go down to contact response or a default. It's a physics type. It really depends on what you want your object to do. I'm going to set this one on contact response and show you what it does and the difference between that and the default. Um, basically, the difference is, is you're going to be able to ride over top of the object even though it is invisible still. So if you want something that you're able to ride over top of, contact response is what you want to set on. Next up, I'm going to select this um as you see it is it is actually turned off it's just glued to other objects so what i'm going to do is go in and individually select the invisible object and there you go visibility is turned off as you guys see then what you want to do is turn your physics type on default and what with putting it on default you're going to be able to ride through invisible objects um basically walls or something if you want to put a trigger there and then um it turns invisible afterwards as you see you can go straight through it um, it's actually really helpful. But next up, I got something a little more complex, but it's still very, very easy to use. Um, I have an area trigger with a visibility event, I'm pretty sure is what it's called. Um, I put on hit and click it onto the event, and then click the event as you see right here. Um, and yes, the visibility, it depends on what you want. If you want something to um, hide or go invisible, you want to turn hidden on. Um, if you want it the opposite way, then select the other one. But as you see, I want this object to turn invisible, so I'm going to select it to the ramp right there. And as soon as I hit that trigger, the ramp should turn invisible. So let's see what happens here. And I'm pretty sure I have contact response on that as well, so I should go over top of it, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there it is, guys. And uh, one more. Um, a lot of people use loopy loops and stuff. Wonder how how to uh, make the uh, ends disappear so you could ride through them. It's really, really easy. Um, this is basically for beginners, but I have the uh, area trigger right there and then um, put it on a hidden event, which is a visibility event. I put it on hidden, just like the last one. Select the two objects right here, and instead of contact response, you're going to want your um, thing on default instead. So you go through the uh, invisible objects once your uh, area trigger is hit by your bike or rider. So as you see right here, I'm going to drive through all of these and this should turn invisible. Perfect. And hit this loop-de-loop -loop. and as soon as I hit this trigger, these should turn invisible. Buckets, baby. That's how you do it. Uh, this is a really easy tutorial video. I hope it helped you guys out uh, making your awesome tracks that you're doing. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Check out all of our other trials videos. This is Pizza Boy 2013 of the Random Gaming Crew. Peace out, guys.